Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing this F350 Dually Super Cab with the 7.3 V8. Before we get into this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah, for giving me some time with this truck. This truck and a few other Super Duties are currently for sale right now at the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out the trucks and just the rest of the inventory they have in general. And if you don't already know, Ed Kenley Ford does not charge any sort of markups over MSRP whatsoever. So if you want a great deal on a new Super Duty that's available right now, definitely reach out to them. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is the 7.3 Godzilla V8 that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 430 horsepower and then 485 pound-feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with the review, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, I've already reviewed several new Super Duties, so I'm just going to go over some highlights on this particular truck. First off, this is built off of a Lariat, so we've got the upgraded LED headlights, as you can see, and then we do have tow hooks here, fog lights, and then we've got the new air dam, which is absolutely enormous. Now, being a dually, our tire and wheel setup is 245, 75, 17 in the front and in the rear with the two rear wheels on either side. And then you guys can see here with the wheel design, pretty standard stuff for a dually. And then here's a quick look at the front suspension and shock setup. We do have a solid front axle for you, if you're wondering. Now, being a dually, this does have cab lights. I also like how the mirror cap is body painted. We've got side steps here and... Well, I haven't seen this before. So obviously we've got the new bedside step that Ford kind of copied from uh, GM. But anyways, we now have a double step. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. I guess this is for people with short stubby legs or something. But yeah, that's the thing now. And then here's your full side view with the truck. You guys can see the super cab. So obviously a little bit shorter in the back compared to the front with the door. And well, a couple things to go over on the bed. There we go. Um, we've got bed liner from the factory. You guys can see we also have the fifth wheel set up here. And then we've got LED bed lights. I'll go over payload and towing capacity in a little bit. Um, this also has the tailgate step and lifting it up. Pretty easy to get into place. And then we've got the new style of taillights back here. We've got the bumper steps in the back and then parking sensors in the rear. So when it comes to towing capacity, this truck has a 4.3 axle ratio, which sets our conventional rating at 21,900 pounds. And then with a fifth wheel, you are 21,600 pounds. And then with a gooseneck, you are 21,800 pounds. Oh, I guess we had a... Doo -doo -doo. And here is our payload capacity, 6,511 pounds, and then we have a 14,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Now the contrast of the door panels is hilarious. So look at the front door panel here, really nice material use, looks fancy, got memory seats, blind spot mark the mirrors, really nice speaker there. And then here's the back door panel with the super cab. <laughs> this is the same truck. Yeah, this is not just a Ford thing. Every single manufacturer cheaps out on their door panels for their smaller cab configuration. But they didn't cheap out on the seats though, which is nice. You can see how it's perforated down the side. And let's actually get in. So the side steps help out quite a bit. Definitely weird getting here. Um, I guess you just got to open up your hips a bit and I guess hug the seats. At least I have to. <laughs> um, it's, it's pretty normal for like this type of cab. I feel like that's an awkward camera angle. Headroom's good though. And anyways, other stuff with this particular truck. Ooh. So again, being a Lariat, we've got the full digital gauge cluster there in the center portion. And then we've got the larger infotainment system. This truck happens to have the 360 camera system as well, as you can see. And on top of that, we've got dual zone climate. We also have heated and ventilated seats, heated steering wheel. And then we've got trailer brake controls integrated from the factory or drive line select. There is no four wheel drive auto, but there is four wheel drive high and low. And then we've got all the storage here in the center, normal super duty fashion. And then you got like the double glove box. Um, this one has power setting window in the rear. Uh, no center for anything like that though. So here's the window sticker for this Super Duty. You guys can see the optional equipment on this particular one. Now the total MSRP 68,490. Now I was actually wrong. The bed liner is actually added on after the fact. I did not uh, know that. So obviously there's an additional charge for the bed liner, but I mean, yeah, that's it. There's not uh, anything else. Like I said, no markups over MSRP. And so yeah, if you want this Super Duty or they have a few others, I think they have like a high output Lariat that might be available as well. I know those are pretty popular, but anyways, let's drive this.
Alright, well, let's set off in this year dually with the 7.3. Okay, anyways, <laughs> I'll get back to uh, talking normal. Um, I'm really excited to review this truck, honestly, because it's got some weird stuff, those steps uh, in the back where it, and also, by the way, this one, I, I can't remember if I showed it in the walk around, this also has the bumper step. And so you have like three extra steps on this truck. So I guess if you, again, if you have a lack of hip flexibility or if you have short legs, then this is the uh, truck for you. You just gotta pay an extra $390 per step edition. Craziness. Um, so first off, when you start up the truck, it sounds pretty cool. Again, that 7.3 V8 is definitely a monster of an engine. It's got a very nice soundtrack to it. Uh, and you know, this actually feels, you know, relatively normal. It feels like normal Lariat. Like I've got nice leather seats in here. And the thing that's surprising is, and I want to drive this before I like fully say this is, I think this might drive a little bit better than a diesel uh, dually. Okay, well, we are actually able to get up and move here with this dually. Good torque right off the bat. Uh, and again, for a reminder for those of you that uh, skipped through the video, <laughs> 4.3 axle ratio. So this has the most aggressive axle ratio that you can get on this particular truck. It's actually pretty smooth so far as well, which is nice. Yeah, okay, I, I can kind of confirm. I mean, it's still like a big, long truck, but it this engine's obviously lighter than the power stroke, and you actually can kind of feel it which is nice. It's um, it's not a sports car by any means, but it it feels like it's less cumbersome to drive compared to diesel dualies. Yeah, it, it definitely feels lighter. Broom! <laughs> this thing's actually got some get up and go, wow. I, I didn't think this would move that quick for being such a big, heavy truck. Now, the one thing that I want to say is, I, you know, with 20,000 pounds behind this, it's definitely not going to, definitely not going to feel as good as the diesel. But, yeah, unloaded, it's pretty dang good. It's actually really smooth. This is, this is smoother on the highway than, let's get up to a little bit faster speed. Yeah, I am missing the torque from the power stroke a bit, to be honest. But yeah, at highway speeds, it's it's actually really good. The suspension's more comfortable with this than the, the power stroke. Wow. Interesting. Yeah, it's, it drives a lot better. That's so annoying. Um, so yeah, let's, let's sum things up here with this dually with the 7.3 gas V8. And braking's better too. Yeah, braking's way better than the power stroke. So, uh, you know, in terms of engine reliability, I think this is actually probably, and you guys can let me know if I'm wrong, but I think this is the engine that I, you know, would probably trust the most out of Ford's lineup because it's a big displacement, naturally aspirated V8. Like that's just a recipe for reliability. So I think that part of it is exciting. And then, you know, when it comes to the drive, unloaded, obviously, it drives really well. Um, I think they've done a good job with that. Oh, thank goodness. We got a red light, but there's no one there. <laughs> That's so nice. Um, yeah, it drives really well. It's smoother, it's more comfortable than the diesel kind of part. And I've noticed that with heavy duty trucks, the diesels are always rougher riding and it's because the engine's heavier, so they've got to do stiffer shocks and springs. So to accommodate for the extra weight, um, I'm trying to think what the use for this truck. Again, 20,000 pounds, that's a lot of weight. That's more weight than most people need to tow. I don't think that I'd want to tow, like if I was gonna tow 20,000 pounds, me personally, I'd rather still have a diesel. The fuel economy that you won't get in this truck that you will get in the diesel, and then just the acceleration, like th there's such a big torque, di torque difference. 485 in this truck, whereas like the regular power stroke is 1,050 and the high output is 1,200 pound feet. Like huge driving experience difference be because of the torque difference. Um, the way that I see it is if you have like a really long trailer that's light, I think that's where this truck would shine. Like, um, or you know, maybe you're like pulling two trailers, again, the, the, so like two trailers back to back and they're lighter so you've got lots of length, but you know, not a lot of weight. 
then you know maybe a diesel doesn't make sense but this would make sense because the dually would provide extra stability that you wouldn't get in a single rear wheel truck um, so that's i feel like that's a good application um and then maybe with some hot shotting and but I, it, it just depends on exactly the exact like build setup you do with the truck and all that but let me know what you guys think about this uh truck let me know what you guys think about the specs because i mean still regardless of you know use for this truck i think it's impressive that we have in 2023 a truck you can get from the factory with a naturally aspirated gas engine that can tow over 20,000 pounds like that's that's insane to me i mean that used to be like top tier diesel levels of towing and now gas engines can tow this it's it's a pretty crazy world that we live in